A chronically and mentally ill woman awakens one morning with the recollection that she has just killed her husband's mistress, only to discover her memories aren't what they seem to be. The Woman Who Knows is a whodunit psychological thriller about trauma, grief, loss, and perseverance. It's about a woman who was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, a chronic pain disorder, and that causes depression and anxiety within her. Now she just feels like life is not meant to be lived. It's not worth living anymore. She wants to die. To get into the heart of the story, May and Joseph, her husband, are on location in California to film a movie as Joseph is an upcoming actor. They have a loving relationship. They rely on each other. Without even saying the words, I love you, one can tell that these two are deeply, madly in love. One morning, he finds her on the bathroom floor passed out after a night of drinking, after taking her medication. He feels that she abuses her medication and she abuses alcohol. They get into that heated exchange and then he leaves the room only to leave his cell phone. May rushes out the door behind him. That's when she sees him in altercation with a woman she's never seen before, a woman she soon finds out. Is his mistress. One night, she decides to visit this woman after a night of drinking and taking her medication. She knocks on the door. The woman answers the door, opening the door, and that's when everything goes black. May awakens the next morning with specks of blood on her on the sleeve of her bath robe. She must figure out. What has happened to the woman? She discovers that the woman is dead. Going through this mystery, she meets the woman's husband. She meets the stepson, the daughter, the mother-in-law, and she also meets a fan of Joseph. And she figures out that every single person wanted this woman dead, including Joseph, her husband. So May must solve this mystery to see if she's involved in the murder of the mistress. And while solving this mystery, she must also realize a few things. She must realize that she is beautiful, that life is worth living, and that life is meant to be lived. And hopefully one day she'll wake up, look in the mirror, and she'll say to herself, I am worth it and I am meant to be happy.